YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, TKK. We back with another video. Hopefully you guys been doing good. Listen, my kitchen is, it is bad right now. So try not to judge me too much. I'm actually unpacking and getting some things cleaned up. Uh, I'm getting this product in here. Give me one second, I'll get on camera. Boom. We got an arcade stick. We're gonna be taking a look at this thing right out of this intro. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, um, if you guys didn't see my overhaul of RK sticks, that video um, was done. It's got some length to it, but it covers a few different products. Um, some that I've been sitting on for a while, some that I've got to do um, redo content and edit content for, uh, like the Oki board. Um, but this was one of the many sticks featured in that particular video. This is a Bulix RK stick. Let me see if I can give you a better shot of this thing there we go gotta know your angles so Vulex stick this thing is amazing i mean it's like pure arcade quality from head to toe um what it does is it essentially replicates what you would get if you were you know to have an actual Vulex arcade cabinet i'll try to card in a photo if i can find one um, later at some point on the channel i will have a chulix cabinet coming probably in the month of, of august um, and so that's going to be a whole entirely different project um, where it's a replica of what the Vulex cabinet is. But this thing is just amazing, like creme de la creme stuff. Um, and the interesting thing is, if you take a look at the video that I carded with the arcade stick overhaul, one of the things that I said about this stick, and I'm going to kind of take that back with the stick I'm going to show you in a second, is that I said that this is the stick you buy if you're not looking to mod it. And I do kind of sort of stand by that. There's but one mod you would do, but this stick is such a good premium. Everything about it, just down to the weight, to the padding on the bottom, the width of this thing, it's just, it's, it's really good. Like it's a massive stick and it's really comfortable for you to be able to play it on your lap. And if you have it sitting on a tabletop, okay, this is really good. So this particular one does work on the PlayStation 4, which it works on PS3 also. So dual system. Um, this unit does have the actual touchpad from the PlayStation 4. Um, so it does work on PS5 too. Suffice you are playing a game that is actually PlayStation 4. And so that's one of the opportunities of this particular stick that I have or anyone that you would get is if you're looking to play something that's native to PS5, then you really don't have that as an option. Now, as it stands right now, your PlayStation 4 is gonna be your tournament standard. Uh, there may be some latency issues with some of the PS5 games, but you know, that can always be addressed in a firmware patch. Um, so yeah, this is a great stick, great product. If you are able to ever get your hands on a Vulix, I would definitely recommend that you do so. All right, so let me just get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. This is really going to be designed for me to be able to comfortably play on every platform uh, that is modern today that, you know, you play a fighting game on. And so the modified version of this is going to be separated from the one that I previously just showed you a couple of transitions ago because of that. That one is restricted to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, which is totally fine. Um, as those are going to be your tournament standards. This, however, introduces the Xbox, the, the, the PlayStation 5 natively. Um, and so being able to play games going forward that will come out on PS5, this is an option. Um, so you can actually choose to play on the games that will have um, the better graphical fidelity, <clears throat> like Mortal Kombat 11, should you find a player base there um, and do so. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. I want to go ahead and give you guys kind of a quick one over around the packaging and uh, we'll get right into this. All right. So quick look at this, as I said, like got some stickers on this thing that are just not going to come off. But the box is in really good condition. You've got the red PlayStation 3 logo there, officially licensed product real arcade pro 3 premium Vulix. so this thing is awesome horrystore.com original so definitely a throwback upc there all right get right into opening this package up this box flat right there
Wow, so this thing actually comes with, looks like a wood bottom too. Man, this thing is nice. Got some paddings on the side and there, I'll have to take a look and see exactly what that does for me. Packaged really nicely. So it has been gutted. Yeah. So this, this piece is the original piece or harness that goes into this stick. So for all buttons and directions and such, this is obviously a used product. One I felt like I could not pass up on. Here's your original USB connection. So all of this in really good condition. Excellent, excellent condition. I mean, it's the seller I bought it from. Included a cloth there. Um, got original manual base screws, small Phillips there, really good condition this thing is in. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. Look at the condition of this thing, man. Whew, patent is like new. So this one has the uh, white sides with the red aesthetic, you know, looks like that classic Vulix. There's some button swaps on this different top. I'm not too much a fan of the aesthetic, um, but I can change that. I got the equipment to change that out. I'll probably take this back all white is what I'm going to do um, in that white. Also put a Brooks sticker on here. Um, this thing does have the universal fight board in here. Um, it also has the I believe it's called the UP5. So this works straight up on PlayStation 5. No issue, no concerns. Um, you've got a newer cable put in to this. Cable's about eight feet in length. So very nice there. And this thing feels amazing. Sounds amazing too. Very excited about this. Very excited about this. Let me just get this wrapped up. Put it back into the box. So we can take a look. All right, so to open this thing up, you have the door where the cord is. It's got three nice, large thumb screws there. Uses a Phillips. What that does is that loosens this. So you have the ability to just kind of open this guy up like this to just work on the stick, uh, put you in position where you can just get right on in there and do what you need to do. So let me turn this thing around so I can show you guys the guts. All right, so I'm gonna try to lift this up for you guys. Um, not sure how well this is gonna work, but you've obviously got all your buttons here, your, your, your stick, um, everything's you know nice, good parts. Um, when we go down to the modification that's been done with this thing though. Right where all those wires are going, we've got the universal brook board there. It's a form one. This actually works on 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One. This also works on PlayStation 4. And then right here, guys. Right here. Right there. Where my finger is touching. You have the UP5. What that is, is that is a chip that actually makes this thing work on PlayStation 5 natively. So this thing is really set up and equipped to work on everything. It also does work on the Switch and any of those miniature consoles um, that are like more Android based. Uh, so this thing is just, it's really decked out. Uh, puts me in a position where I've got everything that I need. Now, the one thing that it's missing is the track, track pad. Um, obviously this is a PlayStation 3, uh, arcade stick by default and so the touchpad I said trackpad but the touchpad was not an option that's the one thing that my newer stick newer design stick has the Vulix that this doesn't um, again that stick works on PlayStation 4 
And three, this is like all inclusive. Like I can hook whatever I want to my extension cabinet if I wanted to throw 360 on it or whatever. PS4 has pretty much all the fighters that you would need, but yeah, this thing is is uh is set, works really good. Um absolutely love this thing. It's designed really well, it's really clean for the age that it is. Pretty much was bought, used a little bit, modified, and everything was just kept intact. After tax, I got this stick for well under 700 bucks. Um, well under 700. I was six and some change. Just to be clear, um, the universal board is about 100 bucks. The UP5 to make it PlayStation 5 compatible, which is pretty much impossible to find as of right now. Um, none of your main sites are going to have it, right? Uh, it goes for about $100 too. So that's 200 just in accessories. Um, you know, the, the stick itself, it sells. <laughs> it's, it pretty much sells itself. I've seen some PlayStation 3 ones that were just default, nothing done, go use for around four, four and some change, 500 almost. Um, so I think I did really good paying $600, about 640 after tax uh, shipping and everything. Uh, for this unit because what I was looking for was something that was going to be all-inclusive it just had everything that I needed it to have all right and I definitely need to go ahead and open this up show you guys this this baby's all nice and clean beautiful aesthetic and I do have a form one inside of here also so where my thumb is now this one is missing the PlayStation 5 adapter um, so essentially this can also be used on a multitude of different platforms all of the same platforms this new one that i got can be used on however um not playstation 5 natively um so yeah that's something that's going to separate and segregate these so i'm really happy to have both of these let me give you guys a, a kind of a comparison all right there's like a it's that black one nice beautiful aesthetic Going to this one. I'm gonna change, as I said, I'm gonna change things out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy back normalized to how it needs to be. I'm also gonna take this Brooks sticker off of there. So we're gonna get the white top put back on there, as well as all white buttons, white button there too, because it's just gonna look cleaner in my opinion, where I have it positioned, uh, doing it that way. Just give you that side by side. Take it to the back. Now, initially, I looked into getting this stick because I did want to have um, something that played on everything, and I couldn't find the, the board on this. But also, wanted the aesthetic of what this stick could be. I feel like it's just it complements my extension cabinet. And owning the 360 of this one is what I tore up. I'll card in my extension video just to kind of show you guys the mod I did on it. I don't even have the parts and such for it anymore, so it was a total waste. Um, but it put me in a position where I was just like, man, you know what? If I find another one of these and it's modified, I'm going to get it so that I can actually have this where I want it to be. Because the extension cabinet is pretty much just a Felix clone also ish. Right. But it's going to sit right on the cabinet. But let me know what you guys think of this comparison. Man, this black looks really nice. I love this. How this red and that white. It's that real original look. All right, so I found the use case for this thing. This is actually a tabletop adapter. So you've got these three pieces of material there, right? That's designed to pretty much make this guy so that it doesn't move. It rests flush, right? So you've got these screws here. One, two, three, four. Those are going to go one, two, three, four. Those four screws that are included in the package is what makes this this purchase very, very good because it, it has like everything. Um, so they'll go like such, right? And then when you have that thing connected, this is how it's gonna look. So not only does this give you some elevation, but definitely like this thing is not moving like at all. It's not moving at all. And I think the stick itself does a pretty good job with friction. But connecting this to this piece, as again, it elevates it a little bit, just a little bit, just, just a tiny smidge, right? But the big thing is just if you're playing on like a, a slippery surface, you, you just want to be able to have that control. Like this is going to be really good, really good for you. 
Um, and you can still use this on your lap too. You can use this on your lap because you've got, you've got the padding is, is on the sides and it's in the middle. So be it you play with your legs closed or open, this is a really good option for you to be able to just take it and it makes it universal, it really does. So I'm glad I was able to get the package pretty much new like in box with everything that originally came with it. All right, guys, unfortunately, the video's got to come to an end at some point, but I've got this thing positioned pretty much where I want it to be, right? So you kind of see the aesthetic that I'm going for. Yeah. And actually, with the accents, uh, the, the, the orange yellowish in there, I think I will keep that yellow start button there, but I'm definitely going to be changing that uh, ball top to white. So um, yeah, I'm going to be changing that back to white and those red buttons, the gray buttons are going to go back to white also just to give it that aesthetic that I want. Um, and the interesting thing is this, this even has like a yellowish to it, kind of like that old smoky, you know, in Japan or in the arcade, um, oxidation, same kind of oxidation you get. If you get Jordans, you buy the retro 11s, whatnot, they'll get yellow eventually. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Um, leave some comments, all of that jazz. I've got a ton of content. I got to start shooting. I was away and now I'm back. So I got to shoot around S 95 B. I got to shoot around G eight, uh, Samsung monitor. I got to get all that going. I actually got to get an actual review of my BenQ monitor. This thing has been great, fantastic. I definitely recommend this at the price point of a grand. It's, it's a great option, but a review of that is going to be coming up really, really swift. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless. Max love.